a first edition set of The Voyage of the Beagle with Captain King, Fitzroy and Charles Darwin. I'm Pom Harrington and I'm the owner of Peter Harrington Books and I want to run through this set with you. Um, the Void of the Beagle actually ran from 1826 through to 36 and was divided actually into two separate voyages. The first one involved Captain King and that ran from 1826 to 1830. The second voyage was run by Fitzroy from 1831 to 1836. But most importantly, had it on board Charles Darwin, um, which had arguably the most important five years of his life and was the basis of all his books thereafter. Um, the set, it represents Charles Darwin's very first book in print and therefore becomes uh, extremely important in any collection of Charles Darwin. Now, let me just show you his book in particular. Um, when you're looking for the first edition of The Voyage of the Beagle, there's a, one very important point, and volume three is Charles Darwin's book. And when this came out in January 39, he was just in the process of being elected to the fellow of the Royal Society. And shortly after this book came out, there's a second issue, and they added in the initials of F-R-S to the um, to this name there, and that would make it a second issue. So this true first issue, uh, very importantly. Now, within this set, there are eight maps, and each volume you get a couple of fold-out maps. And just to give you an example, I'll show you one from this volume. They pull out, and I'm just going to show it to this camera here. And they're just maps of where the voyage went. In this particular case, the southern points of South America. Um, and there we are. Uh, the condition of these maps are in excellent condition. Um, as you can imagine, being separately um, from the book, they often get lost um, or in bad damage and torn. And in all, this is an excellent set. Um, the provenance of this particular set, um, it's a uniform set, and they all have this uh, little library label here, um, someone's library, and uh, they all had the same label, um, giving it uniformity which is rather nice. Um, the sets were read and studied, and so a lot of them actually do suffer from a lot of damage. Um, the first couple of volumes here have had some repair, but um, still retaining um, all the original cloth, and actually the last two volumes are um, in a very nice condition. Uh, a lot of copies you see these days are rebound, so nice to have it in original cloth. And the sets that will fit into most collections very handsomely and very nicely. For details on this set of books and other books by Charles Darwin, please see the Peter Harrington website.